Well, hello there. Happy New Year, everybody. It is January the 6th today, and I'm just kicking off my vlogging game for the year. So many of you said that you enjoyed Vlogmas and wanted me to continue with it during the New Year, so I'm going to be putting up a vlog once a week, uh, or at least that's the aim for once a week, uh, along with all of my fashion and beauty related videos. The new year has begun. I've got new year's resolutions under my belt or that I've planned. Sean and I also did some together, so I will talk to all of you guys about that later on today. But for now, I'm going to show you my outfit of the day because Sean and I are heading out to do a few errands, one of which are a new pair of winter boots that both he and I ordered for ourselves because it has been very cold here recently minus 40 to be exact and we've had some like record temperatures over the past like week or two just because it's been so cold so, so I've got my hat on already I'm gonna have a scarf and gloves on shortly um, but we ordered ourselves some boots because we still want to be able to get outside and enjoy ourselves despite that and most of our boots are you know, ankle boots and things that we can run around in essentially, but they're not great for, you know, stomping around in snow and things like that. So we're gonna go pick those up and do a few other errands as well as have a date night tonight. So let's start off with an outfit of the day. Okay, so for day I'm keeping it simple because it's the weekend, it's freezing, and <laughs> I just felt like keeping it simple. So I'm wearing my Zara coat that you guys had seen far too much through Vlogmas. Every time the dead of winter hits, I just end up paring down to simple basics most often just because I want to stay warm and quite honestly couldn't be bothered. Even my pants, I'm almost resorting to jeans basically daily just because all my printed pants and stuff that you guys can see behind here are like culottes or ankle pants and things like that so it's just not overly practical when it's minus 40 out let's be real um anyway so i'm wearing my zara jacket i have a sweater on a v-neck sweater from banana republic on underneath I have this toque from Rudsack. I've got a necklace on from Trisha McMaster that has this really beautiful sort of iridescent uh, glow to it, which I love. I have my Daniel Wellington watch on, which the battery just died, so I'm still wearing it because I'm trying to remind myself that I need to replace the battery, so that is also one of the errands I'm hoping to run today. I have my Louis Vuitton MM Artsy bag along with a, like, pom-pom keychain this is faux fur and i've got um a louis vuitton like keychain that or i guess it's a keychain yeah that's hanging off the side of the bag it's so funny because i haven't used this bag in probably about six months so i've been using everything else and i've had it now for about two and a half years and it's so strange because i've just been pulling it out and using it over the past two weeks every single day and over that time, I've had so many messages from people on YouTube or you guys asking me how this bag has worn since I purchased it. Um, because I guess a lot of people hear about like the handle cracking and things like that. And this bag has held up beautifully, still looks brand new. I love it. I've got um, like a plastic casing in the bottom of this though that I bought off Etsy to help it maintain the shape in, in case any of you are interested in that. But this bag's held up beautifully and I am rough with my bags. So I love it. I love it, love it. Uh, anyway, so the bottom half, I'm wearing jeans from Guess, and I have my Sam Edelman little booties on for the day. So, let's get shopping and running some errands, and then we'll chat New Year's resolutions a little later on. just crossing the street so we are at our destination which is lunch at Jack Astor's. It's gonna be so good. Tell them what time we're having lunch at. Three o'clock. It's a late lunch. <laughs> Neither of us have eaten today. Yeah we're starving. 
I found a pair of gold boots that I put on my Instagram stories that I didn't show you guys in this vlog that I was trying on in Saks Fifth Avenue. They were $1,200 down to $280, which is amazing. And they were gold like ankle boots, which I, you guys know I love my gold footwear, but something about them just didn't sit right to me. Um, so I didn't end up buying them. So it just goes to show, which I've talked to you guys about before, only buy things you know you love and don't invest in stuff just because it's a sale because they are tempting, but. They did not look like $1,200 shoes, so. No, I didn't, I don't think so either. That's why I didn't end up getting them. I just didn't love them as much. I love my metallic shoes, you guys know that, but sadly, I let do, them go. Do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 right on the tables here. Fun fact, I actually used to work at Jack Astor's years ago. I used to hate cleaning off the tables when people drew on them, but they're all really fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it too. I'll show you this dog that I draw all the time. It's my one talent in terms of drawing. I used to love doing cartooning as a kid, but I don't really do it anymore. Folks, my dog I draw all the time <laughs> in a very sloppy, fast version, but that's what I always go to. <laughs> anyway, cheers, babe. Maybe we bought one. All right, so first course is a beer and cheddar soup. This is so good, guys. If any of you have been to Jack Astor's, I highly recommend trying this. And now they serve it with a little shot of beer on the side and some crackers. So Sean and I are going to share the soup to start. Look at this. Are you excited, babe? Yeah. <laughs> We've been craving some beer nachos, so it goes down smooth. But the Jack Astor's nachos are so good. So good. So, we're home again. Uh, Sean and I had a great time out uh, this afternoon. We hit the stores. We had a late lunch. Oh, and here's little Jasmine. Oh, and look at her cute little sweater. It's got little flowers and stuff on it. She looks so cute. It's a little turtleneck. <laughs> hey, honey. Okay, so at the mall today, um, I went into H&M just solely because when I took down our flock tree at Christmas time, or like after Christmas, sorry, I was taking it down and all the white bits from the tree got all over that beautiful red H&M sweater that I had that you guys saw in my holiday outfit video. And I love that sweater. I've been wearing it like crazy. It's super comfortable. It's nice and cozy. And I picked up um, another one today because I thought I couldn't get the white bits off of it, but Sean, just came upstairs because he had to wash some gloves that he got gas all over and um, because it was miscellaneous. Anyway, doesn't matter. Long story short, we washed it and the little white bits ended up coming off. I found the exact same sweater in this gorgeous sky blue. Like how gorgeous is that color guys? Like honestly, oh, and it's my beautiful spring palette, which I love. Oh, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm really drawn to blues more than any any other color, but absolutely love that I got that. So those H&M sweaters, just so you know, are $29.99, that's Canadian, so obviously cheaper if you're in the US. The other thing is that Sean and I went to go pick up some boots that I think I mentioned to you guys that we had ordered just before New Year's. They just weren't in stock when we were in store or they weren't at the store that we were at. Can't get this out of the bag. Um, so we were waiting for ours to be shipped into us. So I bought my very first pair of Uggs, and no, it's not the kind you think, because the popular kind of Uggs, I think, 
in my opinion. I don't like them. I think they look lo loaves of bread on your feet. I'm just not a fan. But I wanted a pair of winter like walking boots to wear when outside with the dogs or with Sean if we go for a walk or something. So I found these ones and how cute are they? They are so nice. I thought they'd go with my camel like um, Zara jacket really nicely. Um, I also have a navy like Michael Kors pea coat that is really beautiful that I thought this would go with or even my gray Club Monaco one that you guys like. But it's a great like neutral boot. It'll go with everything and it's got that nice stuffing in it that all the Uggs boots have. So I finally bought an Ugg boot. Not the kind that most people do because I don't like that one but I do love these ones. They're actually super, super comfortable and really warm on the feet. So I look forward to wearing those on our freezing days that we're having, just like today. Then the last thing I picked up was a little something from Saks Fifth Avenue. And I always love going, well, I love Saks anyway, but I wanted to go into it today because they sell the By Terry products that I love. Okay, so what I got at the By Terry counter in Saks, the first one which you guys could probably guess, is I picked up another By Terry Balm de Rose lip balm. You guys uh, know that I love this stuff. This is my absolute favorite lip balm on the planet. And I was just starting to run out of my tinted one, which was the second batch of the Balm de Rose that I've gone through. And this is just the um, neutral one. It doesn't have any color to it. Just because for most part, I tend to put this on when I'm at home or just before bed. But this stuff honestly is the nicest thing ever on your lips. I highly recommend it. They also have a, I think it's a moisturizer for your face. That's the Balm de Rose. I really want to try it. I'm so tempted. I didn't make the dive, but I want to. Anyway, the other thing that's new that I've never tried of theirs before is their cell, cellul, cellula rose, cellula rose. Um, Native Cells Brightening CC Serum. I got this in, I think the color was apricot. Yeah, apricot glow. So this is the packaging here. And this is just sort of like an illuminator for your face when you're getting ready in the morning. Um, Becca also has similar products to this. It's just basically a, a liquid highlighter, but it's a little bit less intense. So you can put it on either on its own for sort of a skin corrector, especially if you're someone that doesn't wear a lot of makeup, or you can wear it underneath your foundation for a little bit more of a luminous glow during the day or a little bit more of dewy skin. Okay, so here is the product here. So it has a very, um, I know it's not coming off in the camera, but this actually has a very like gold look to it, um, like a gold refract reflect sorry look to it it comes in four colors this is number three because i wanted something that i could wear under my makeup when i'm fair because it rubs off to being almost like nothing just like i said a bit of a luminous or luminous glow and i wanted something that i could also wear underneath my makeup when i have my fake tan on so this is the color I picked up. I may, depending on how much I like this, I may go back and get the very first one for when I am super, super fair and haven't applied any kind of fake tan in quite some time, but I'm really interested in giving this a go. I ended up learning about this product from Lydia Elise Millen just because she talks about the CC serum that she wears under her makeup a lot of the time. She has beautiful skin though. And, uh, yeah, I'm just very interested in trying it myself because I love their foundation. It's super expensive, their foundation, so I don't buy it very often, but it's so good. It's by far my favorite, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. Hey guys, it is now Sunday, Sunday afternoon actually. Uh, Sean and I, after our late lunch yesterday, just ended up deciding to lay low, <coughs> and we actually didn't do anything uh, yesterday night. I ended up basically passing out on the couch. Uh, we ordered some sushi in. Like it was a super, super lazy Saturday. Um, yeah, there really wasn't much of anything going on, but it was really nice. It was really nice just to chill, hang out, do nothing. Sometimes you just need days like those. You know what I mean? Sean and I went to church this morning, um, which was really nice. Sean doesn't normally come with me he's not much of a believer but he comes with me every now and then to just support me which is very very kind and we went for a late brekkie because we neither of us had eaten we're terrible with that on the weekends we always forget to eat in the morning and uh so we just went to like a greasy spoon cheapo kind of like breakfast restaurant after church just to get something in our stomachs and then we went grocery shopping and now here we are. So this afternoon, I think we're going to chill out. I really want to read. I want to get some journaling done and just enjoy the rest of the weekend. 
And then we're going to my dad's place tonight because my family is just having a belated birthday dinner for me this evening. So I'll get to see my little nephew and the rest of the fam and just have some dinner, have some cake, and just cap off the weekend beautifully, which I cannot wait for. I said to you guys that I would talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions, which I forgot. So Sean and I um, both set resolutions separately and then we do resolutions together as a couple, which is something new. We don't normally do resolutions as a couple, but another YouTuber had chatted about how she and her husband do that and I thought it was a wonderful idea to set some goals as a couple. Uh, so Sean and I did it and we actually really, really enjoyed it. We sat down together on New Year's Day we plotted out on a piece of paper some resolutions that we really wanted together so anything from just spending more quality time together like getting out and doing activities or walking um going to coffee shops things like that rather than just you know plopping yourself down at the end of the day when you're exhausted in front of the television which we definitely have been guilty to doing and although you know it's nice to relax and obviously you just want to let go at the end of the day that's not necessarily quality time together so we always find that obviously our relationship feels much more nourished when we're doing things together so that's why we want to get out doing things on a more regular basis. Uh, another resolution of ours, we wanted to get away and travel more. Last year with Hurricane Irma and then with some of the health issues with the dogs, all of our vacations that we intended to go on were canceled. <laughs> so we've already planned one vacation to go to Hilton Head Island, which was one of ours that was canceled last year. So we're just reviving that and we're gonna go and obviously I will bring you guys along with us which will be really exciting we're gonna vlog that whole trip that won't be until the end of May though and then our other trip that was cancelled was just a brief weekend to Quebec City that we will also be doing again this year we haven't figured like fixed the dates for that one yet um, but I'm thinking maybe sometime in the summertime because Quebec City is even colder than it is here in Ontario and I certainly don't want to be walking around when it's even colder outside. And then for myself, one of my goals was to grow my YouTube channel. I really love the community that we have been building here and my goal this year, I don't really have a fixed number, but I really, really want to grow this channel and make as many um, women feel as beautiful and as stylish and as confident as possible. Um, I know that that kind of community is definitely growing on the Facebook Style Squad group. It's such a wicked community there and I love the one that's building here as well. So the more you guys share, comment and whatever on this channel, the more it will grow and I so greatly appreciate that and I will continue to provide you with as much fun and value as I possibly can. Uh, another goal of mine, which sounds so cliche, I know is to get back in shape um, it's not like a get fit and lose weight kind of goal um, I just want to feel more fit I used to be a really big gym rat and just like really active person anyway and ever since I started my business and after my mom had passed away I just didn't I don't know, it kind of just took a back seat. I think all of us have gone through ebbs and flows with our fitness and health regime. And for me, I really put mine in the back. So I want that to be a form of self-care for mine, but not just like going to the gym just because you feel like you have to go. I want to make it fun. I want to make it a part of my lifestyle. And I just started that prior to Christmas. So I want to make sure that I continue with this going into the new year and yeah, make myself a priority and feel good. So I'm at my best so I can be at my best for my husband, my family, for you guys, for everybody, right? Um, and especially for myself. Those are my bigger goals this year. I have other ones as well, but those are my my major ones. Uh, the others for myself are just things like connecting more with God and my spirituality on a regular basis. And I wanna make sure that I really disconnect my time uh, at the end of the day or on the weekend so that I have personal time and then work time as well. Just cause I think nowadays with social media, the lines can gray and blur a little bit. And I wanna make sure that I am able to nourish my relationships um, outside of work as well. So anyway, I'm looking forward to the new year. I cannot wait for the new adventures it will bring. And I would love to hear what you guys have as resolutions as well. I love hearing about people's goals or intentions or 
you know habits that you're looking to create for yourself so if you guys want comment down below with your resolutions I'd love to hear about them and maybe if you see someone in the comments with the same resolution as you maybe connect with one another maybe you guys can be an accountability partner or you guys can talk about that in the style squad uh, group lots of ladies talk about their self-love journeys and things that they're trying to ignite for themselves so please feel more than welcome to do that as well uh, but yeah I think that's enough blabbing on my part <laughs> let's just get into a lazy afternoon kale service Ooh, yummy hot chocolate perfect for this freezing freezing day and an overload of marshmallows which is perfect for my sweet tooth <laughs> so I am going through some old magazines and um, I've already gone through it uh, like a huge stack but what I'm doing is just cutting up pieces for my vision board I take time doing my vision board um, every year I've probably already gone through like seven or eight magazines but these are the ones that are left over just to pick out images that inspire me quotes that inspire me like words that I resonate with anything that I can put on my vision board later so if any of you want to see like how I put my vision board together later on, then comment down below, let me know, and I can definitely do a video for you guys on that. Yeah. Oh, it's recording. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Good Emerson, you're so cute. <laughs> huh? There's we Melissa. <laughs> and then my dad and Leslie are slaving away in the kitchen. Are you done? I'm so fucking lovely, I'm slaving away. <laughs> <laughs> 